Welcome to another great Cloud Basic demonstration. Um, this video is going to just talk about the touch library for the um, the graphics devices. Um, the library supports the XPT 2046 and the ADS um, 7843. Just been developed, and I'm going to use a video to show you this, only because it's pretty hard to show you this. So what we've got is um, this is a, a particular screen. I've got um, several screens. They all look very similar. They've all got um, this layout, and this layout includes um, the size of the screen, and you'll see different sizes of screen. You'll see that um, it's all got this demonstration the dates last year, and it's really it's showing how it scales and sizes to um, to calibrate it. So what we've got is. Um, Calibration. We have to calibrate these things, and if I just show you it working, I'll come back to the calibration in a minute. So you can see that in here, I'm putting some dots in it. Um, if I change the screen, I put and here's another screen. Yeah, that's um, a much bigger one. Oh, it's a it's a more accurate one. This is um, I've done quite a few. So this is another one which I'm just using it straight away. I'm just showing that the dots come, you know, that this is a more accurate screen. To be quite frank, it's not the software. It's actually the quality of the screen and the, the sensor itself. And this, this one here is um, a 240 by 320 screen. And you can see that the touches were pretty well spot on. In the other ones, uh, they're not so accurate. Uh, so let's just talk you through um, what we're doing here. So for us to get a dot in the right place, we have to take the reading from the um, from the library. We have then to calibrate it because the readings are essentially 0 to 255 uh, in the y-axis and 0 to 255 in the x-axis. But they don't actually return that scale. They, they return a much smaller scale. And in this particular device, it's 12 to 108 and in the y-axis it's 10 to 117. So the calibration um, needs to take care of the, this range, okay? Because that's what the device returns. It does not return a huge number. Um, so when it's on the left-hand side, on the x-axis, it's 12. When on the maximum, on the right-hand side, it's only 108. And basically what we're seeing here is the raw devices on the screen here, 55 and 57 at this particular point, which happens to be the midpoint of the screen. And the minimum and the maximums that we've seen um, in this display are um, 12 and 108 in the X and 10 and 117. And as you can see, it then gets scaled up into the position on the screen. And that scaling is uh, representative, therefore, of um, what's going on. So it's pretty simple to do. Um, we have... Um, Little old program here, a great kind of basic program. I'll um, show you this, um, and you can see on the left hand side it's 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 doing it quite well. And so how do we how do we go about doing that? Okay, mm -hmm. well we include the library. That's quite simple. We just include the X, uh, XPT 2046, and we're using um, a different. I'm using three different types of libraries. If it supports it, it will work. And the first section here is just setting up the um, GLCD, the, the graphics LCD. And the second part here is setting up the um, the touch. And essentially, you just need to specify these limits um, in terms of the X minimum, Y minimum, um, X X max and Y max, and how many samples you want to test. Um, some devices need more, some need less. It's the quality of the sensor in, in, in reality. Okay. Um, and then you need to set up your um, digital ins, your digital outs, your clock signals, um, your chip select, IRQ. Now, the digital in and digital out and clock will shared with the, um, with the GLCD. The only thing that's unique is the chip select and the IRQ. And uh, the library supports um, hardware and software, um, SPI. And that's really how you do it. And then you calibrate it using these calibration values. So you call, set the calibration, you calibrate it, and then you tell it how big the screen is in terms of its height and width. And if you rotate the screen, you need to change those parameters quite clearly. 
um, and the, the all the meat, all the work is done inside of a very simple, um, very simple uh, piece of programming, and it essentially says um, whilst the whilst wait while it, it, it's touched, wait until it's touched essentially, wait until it's touched, and when it's touched, go and get the value. And it says put me there is put me the get value of the x and y into these two particular variables, and the rest of this program is essentially showing it on the screen. So you just say wait until it's touched, and then you get the XPT value, and that's as simple as that. Once you put those that include statement in on the top, as I said before, you set up the um, the calibration parameters, and then how many samples. You set up your, di up your digital lines and then you just set that calibration calling a function and that's done. The rest of it, honestly, is just filling the circles, putting stuff on the screen here. It all comes down to wait whilst it's touched, okay, and then get that value and put it into those two variables. And the rest of it is just handling all the different events that can occur. Because essentially what it's doing is waiting for the IRQ to occur, you've touched it, and then it gets the value back. In this particular case, I'm reading it five times, I'm then converging those to see if the point is still moving. On the poor quality screens, I've learned that a, a, a convergence routine is quite good. And it's exactly the same for all of these different programs that, are, that I was showing you previously here. Um, I just cleared the screen by pushing the clear button on that particular one. Um, I then pull that screen out and I'll, uh, I'll go to a much smaller screen. Or do I? Oh, there's a smaller one, look. Um, this one is um, an ILI 9341 with the same touch on it. You can tell it's got touch on it because of these um, little parameters here and uh, it's going off to the sensor and you can see that it's exactly the same. So what's this little colour doing at the top? Um, this little um, co colour at the top, uh, if it's red it hasn't had an event, if it's yellow it's on the event and if it's green it's sampling. Okay, It's drawing it. And that, that's quite good that one. That's a very nice screen actually. It's a very cheap screen but it's very very nice. So I wanted to give you a quick demonstration into um, the touch library, extremely simple, and it is published up on the web. And we'll call that a wrap.